Welcome back. Corrine Ewart from Today's Parent joins us for our chat today. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having we're, me. We're talking about rating systems and PG-13 as opposed to a restricted uh, a report of the U.S. saying that basically sex violence and uh, alcohol is showing up in R-rated films, of course, but also PG-13. Yeah, they are. And what's really important to remember here is that the American ratings are actually more strict than our Canadian ratings. So a PG-13 in Canada is actually usually even rated more strictly down in the U.S. So we really have to do research ourselves. We can't trust the ratings, to be honest with you. So we need to pay more attention up here. We absolutely need to be more, pay more attention. And we have to also remember, we have to look at our kids and know our children. That's really what it comes down to. You know, mm. I have an eight-year-old who, if he sees a scary movie, he can't sleep for three days. Right. But I have a seven-year-old who loves it and is totally into it. So, you know, you have to really understand what your kid can handle. So that's number one. Mm. The other thing is the Internet. We have to talk about that for a second because the Internet allows children to see almost anything at any time. Of course, we had the discussion in the morning meeting. I mean, kids see it all anyway, so what is it we're actually protecting them from? Well, there's that question, but you, what it really comes down to is that parents have to be involved. You have to be having the conversations, you have to know what your kids are looking at, you have to know what your kids are interested in. But the other thing the internet allows us as parents to do is research these movies. You can watch any trailer for any movie out there, learn what it is your kids are interested in seeing, and then talk to them. What about over the holidays? We're seeing lots of new movies. Do we have to pay attention there as well? Well, you do. Again, if you take a movie like The Hobbit, which is going mm -hmm. to be a big holiday movie, it can be really scary for a lot of kids. And there's also going to be violence. There's probably bad language. So as a parent, you've got to gauge whether or not that's something you want your kid to see. You know, Hunger Games, another? Absolutely. Right? The Hunger Games. I'll be honest. I took my daughter to it. I loved the book series. And so we were interested in seeing it. But I know my daughter and I know she can handle the content. So, And I've also read the book myself. I knew what mm. we were getting into. So does that make a difference, maybe taking your child, going with your child? Oh, I absolutely think so. I think that's... The you got somebody only to way. hug? Yeah, somebody to put their <laughs> hands over your eyes, for sure. Um, do you think we need to review our, our uh, rating system here, make it a bit more tighter, maybe like they have in the U.S.? I don't think there's a problem ever with looking at our systems and deciding whether or not we need to update them. You know, we are constantly changing. Everything's evolving at such a rapid pace nowadays. So, yeah, absolutely. Let's take a look. Okay, Corrine, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me.